Hey everyone, Pathetic Ivy here, and welcome to another episode of Rival Talk, the series where I talk about all of Sonic's rivals. Today we are talking about Shadow, one of the best characters in the series, and my personal favourite. Shadow's story begins 50 years before anyone else's. Shadow was created as the ultimate life form by Dr. Gerald Robotnik, the grandfather of Eggman. They lived aboard the Space Colony Ark as Gerald researched a way to save his granddaughter, Maria Robotnik, from an incurable disease. Shadow and Maria grew close and became nothing short of best friends. They would spend their days wondering what life on Earth was like. But one day, a horrible accident took place. The Guardian Unit of Nations, or GUN for short, came for Shadow and to kill any and all hostiles. Maria fought valiantly to keep Shadow safe, but it wasn't enough. In her dying breath, Maria begged Shadow to take revenge on the world that had done them wrong. Unwillingly, Shadow got in the escape pod and was put in cryosleep for the next 50 years. We cut to now. Eggman is following orders from his grandfather's diary. Following these orders leads him to unlocking Shadow. He wakes and immediately helps Eggman in his plans of conquering the world, but is secretly planning to destroy it along the way. He brings Eggman to the Space Colony Ark and reveals it has a powerful cannon that is fueled by the Seven Chaos Emeralds. This begins a mad dash to find them, all, but being opposed by Sonic and friends along the way. I think now would be a good time to discuss Shadow's relation to Sonic. When Shadow is searching for the emeralds, he comes across Sonic on the run from Gun. Sonic realises that Shadow is responsible for the crimes Sonic is being charged for and aptly calls him a faker, which starts a banterous rivalry between the two, as Shadow is convinced he is the ultimate life form, therefore Sonic would be the faker. Their power sets are also identical, making the pair's battles exhilarating to watch, and also giving off this good versus evil theme. Something else to note is that Shadow is very much his own character, while previous rivals, Metal Sonic especially, were only there to oppose our blue blur. Shadow is a man on a mission, and Sonic is just an obstacle in his way. Or at least, that's his point of view. Shadow's origin story ends with him getting all the emeralds and revealing his plan of destruction via a tape recording from Gerald. With that news, Sonic, Eggman, and all their friends team up to stop the arc from firing. Meanwhile, Shadow stands there, He was a man on a mission, after all. He stares into the abyss of space while the others fight valiantly to undo what he has done. Until Amy shows up and talks with Shadow about how everyone deserves a chance. This triggers something in Shadow's mind, and he realises what Maria truly wanted. Gerald had implanted false memories in his mind, so he would be an agent of his plan. What Maria truly wanted wasn't revenge, no. She wanted Shadow not to be filled with grief, but to give everyone a chance to be happy. Without saying more than a, I need to go, he rushes off to the fight. This leads to the climax. He catches up with Sonic to fight the ultimate lifeform prototype known as the Biolizard. After that, they disable the cannon, but it isn't enough. The Bio-Lizard uses Chaos Control to merge with the Ark and pull it down to Earth itself. This leads to one of the greatest moments in gaming history. Sonic and Shadow turn into their super forms to go into space and fight the Bio-Lizard together. After an epic battle, they use a combined Chaos Control to put the Ark back in its place but it's too much for Shadow. He falls down to Earth as he's too weak to keep going. Like Maria, he dies not with anger or hate. He dies knowing he fulfilled his promise to Maria. All of this made Shadow an extremely likeable character, and lots of people became very attached to him, including myself. 
And it makes sense. He took everything that made other rivals great and made it all better and into one person. It has the doppelganger element of Metal Sonic and the opposing personality of Knuckles, leading to him becoming the arguably greatest rival. Such a shame his story was over in his debut game. But no, this wasn't the end for Shadow. But that'll have to go for a part two. I know, I'm sorry, but this video is so much bigger than I first anticipated and I need to split it into two parts so you can get a video on time. Eh, this video's kind of behind schedule anyways. On that note, I've been Pathetic Ivy and I'll see you in part two.